Okay, so my lines have divided up my space. I have lots of spaces now. Here's a space, here's a space, here's a space, here's a space. I can paint inside my lines spaces now. So I'm going to use the lightest color yellow so I don't mix it. If I mix my yellow with something else, I won't have any yellow left. So I'm going to start with the yellow and paint the top left right here and be careful not to touch my black lines yet because they still might be wet. I'm going to paint all inside this space. See my arcs made a space inside of them and a space outside of them. The lines can make shapes and they can also make spaces. They can do so many things. They can create movement. And now I'm going to touch my black line just a little bit, just right next to my black line, but let's try not to touch it, but get all my white spots. I'm going to use the tip of my brush when I run out of paint on the tip to get some more paint. And I'm going to follow my black lines with my tip of my brush, just like I'm driving along the road. Stay right next to the black line. If you get a little bit on the black line, that's okay. Just try not to. Even I get some on the black line too. following along my spaces. So I have my top left. Now I'm going to do my top right. So you know what the top means. And you know what the left means. And the right means. You know where your left hand is and where your right hand is. That's the direction. Left is a direction and right is a direction. If you're driving on the road and somebody says, turn right, you'll know which way to go. I'm painting all my yellow space. I don't want to leave any white space. I'm not going to paint inside my arcs. Those are going to be a different color. Just painting inside my black line space right now. And I didn't mix yellow with any color, otherwise I won't have any more yellow. If I mix it with red, all my yellow will be gone. So first I'm going to use it up, or use some of it. There, I painted my top left and my top right. So now I'm going to paint my bottom left and the bottom right. You can go back and forth, back and forth with your brush. Don't use it like a mop like that or all the paint gets stuck up in it. Just pull it around. Follow my black line. This is a curve. Oops, going around the bend. Here's another curve. Going around my arc. Around the curve. And then straight lines. Vertical and horizontal. Vertical. Fill in all my space with yellow. It's not white anymore. Now it's 
all yellow. Get all my white spots. Finally, I'm going to do the bottom right yellow. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And when I go close to my black lines, I slow down. Use my tip to follow right along the black line. There goes a curve. Yay! Up the hill and down the hill. And vertical. Vertical, horizontal, diagonal, Whee. and then up this curve, and my yellow's all done. I don't have to mix, I don't have to wash my brush because I'm gonna add some red to my yellow and mix it up until I get what color? Did you say orange? You're right. I'm gonna mix it all up. I didn't put too much red in, otherwise it would stay red because yellow is such a light color. So now I have to decide where I'm gonna put my orange. Hmm, I think my orange is gonna go in my arcs. So one in the big arc on the bottom left. And one in the big arc on the bottom right. So if I put them in the bottom, to make it symmetrical, where do I put the other two? There's one on the bottom left, one on the bottom right. So I'm gonna turn my paper around and put them on the top left and the top right. I don't wanna reach over top of the wet paint, so I'll turn my paper around. Now I'll put it in the top left and the top right. Getting lots of paint. So it fills my white spot. Don't want any white spots left. Now orange, another warm color. Is yellow a warm color? Yes. Is orange a warm color? Yes. Now I'm going to use red. Let's see if I, my brush will stay red. Look at that. I put orange in it, but it's staying red because red's so strong. Hmm, I think I'm just going to make one red in the middle of my shape. It's going to be one red square. right along the edge, get it all red. Okay, I have my three warm colors, red, yellow, and orange. No white. Do you remember what colors we used to make green? The yellow and turquoise will make green or yellow and blue. I still have a little bit of wet black right there. I have to be careful I don't get that black in the green. Otherwise it'll be really dark green. Okay. Lots of green on there. Go over it twice. 
white so I can get it really green. If you run out of paint, just make more. painting. Okay. Now I have to wash my brush again. Paint the bottom of my bucket. Oh, look what color it made. Green and orange made this brownish color. I don't want to use a neutral color. I want to use my cool color. So I have green, now I'm going to use some blue, and then some purple. So let's put the blue next to the red. So I have blue in my bottom triangle. So I'm going to put blue in the top triangle. Remember to dry your brush after you get it wet, otherwise your paint will be all wet. It's too watery. I mean, it won't be nice and thick, this bright color. Now I'm going to put a blue on the left side. So to make it symmetrical, I need to put it on the <clears throat> right side. Get it all over here, get all my white spots. Doesn't that look beautiful with the black lines in between it? Reminds me of a stained glass window too. Those into belly houses are so beautiful and the beadwork that they make, so beautiful. They're so good as they Okay, now it's purple. Let's see what happens to my, whoa, look what color it is now when I added blue. B almost black. Now, wash my, dry my brush off so it's not all wet. I'm gonna mix the magenta with the turquoise. There's red violet, isn't that a beautiful color? It looks like black raspberry ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yum. Now I'm going to add some more blue until it comes purple. If I add too much blue, it'll be blue violet. There's violet. So I'm going to paint my arc inside my arc violet at the bottom. Can you see it? a big paper and I'm going to paint my arc violet at the top. Okay, lots of paint on there. Okay, how do you like it? Can you see it? It's orange on the top and the bottom left green on the right and the left, and yellow in all four shapes. There's my painting with neutral color black, warm colors of red and orange and yellow, and cool colors of green, blue, and purple. Have fun painting!